So welcome to the workshop at Maker Supplies. I'm here together with Rudolf and Metodi, two interns in the company. They have been working really hard on making a nice dust management system for all our machines. So it's a universal system that fits on all our brackets for the A and B spindle type. And I will ask Rudolf and Metodi just to show you quickly how this is done. So this is how you put on the dust chute. You just take it and slide it onto your bracket. It will be held in place by magnets here. And then you take the brush and simply put it underneath and rise it a little. It will mostly go in place by the magnets. To take it off, you just push down here on the grooves and the brush comes off and you pull off the dust chute again. To attach your shop vacuum hose to the adapter, just press with the hose like that into it but if you want to use the 60 millimeter hose that we're providing instead you can just unscrew the bottom part and attach your 60 millimeter hose with a hose clamp at the bottom side this is what is in the industrial assembly kit and how to assemble it it comes with four 3D printed parts, the hose connector, the main body, two brush holders, then we have two brush strips like these, 12 small magnets and two big ones, and also two long screws and two short ones. What you will need is a 3mm hex screwdriver and maybe for convenience reasons, power drill with the right attachment. Okay, this is how to start. First, we'll start with the magnets and the main body. You take your main body part and you place this face down on the table with the four holes for the magnets upwards. Then you take a pair of two magnets and you push them inside of the hole. Push them down as far as you can so that the second one sticks out about halfway. You repeat that for all four holes. All right, next you take your brush holder and then you align this piece with the notch over here and you press it down. Do that firmly on all four corners to make sure that the magnets are seated in the right spot and are as flush as possible. Now you are done with the magnet assembly for the first set of brush holder. To do the second one, we recommend to take the remaining four magnets and place them on the magnets that are now in the main body so that you are sure that they are in the right polarity orientation. And now you just repeat the process as before. Second brush holder done as well. Okay, next we go to the big magnets. Here it's important to notice that we have four mounting holes for these, but only two magnets. And that is because it depends on which bracket your CNC machine uses. There is one with four screws like this and also one with three, which are located a little bit differently. So if you have the ones with four screws, then you will place the two magnets in the outside holes. If you have the one with three screws, it will be the ones closer to the middle. We have the one with four, so we will put it in the outside ones. So you just slide off the magnet. And then you push it in about halfway to two thirds in. Don't push it in all the way. The right length adjustment will come automatically if you later push it onto the spindle itself. Okay, now we assemble the main body to the hose connector. So first you align the main body with the hose connector like this. 
and then you take the short screws and you insert them in the top like this and the long ones in the bottom and now you screw them in. important in this step is that we will do the last few millimeters by hand because we want to prevent that we use the powerful tool to rip out the self-cutting threads inside of the main body. So you just take it and tighten it until it uh, feels about right. Be especially careful with the short screws at the top because the thread is a lot shorter so it's a lot easier to rip them out. We have the main parts assembled. The last piece on the list is to insert the brush, brush strip into the brush holder. For that you just take the end and push it down like this into the groove and then you proceed like that all the way around until it's nicely seated and feels like it's secure. So now you're done with the assembly works like a charm. Now I'm going to show you how to put on the dust shoe to make the final adjustments on the big magnets and how to assemble it with the holes. So you take the dust shoe in your hand and then you support the z-axis that you want to mount it on. Then you slide it on and push it all the way to the back. Now the spacing of the magnets to the screws down here is just at the right spot. So if you have it then mounted on here, you can take your hose clamp and the hose, you put it over the hose and tighten it a little bit. And then you put it over the output here. push it down all the way, then move the hose clamp to a little bit above the bottom surface here and tighten the rest of it. Be careful not to over tighten it so you don't damage anything, you can also do it by hand. The assembly kit of the hose adapter consists of the following parts. 60 mm female threaded adapter, in a shop vacuum male threaded adapter, 20 by 40 aluminum extrusion, end caps for the aluminum extrusion, 20 by 40, 4 M5 27 millimeter screws, 6 M5 25 millimeter screws, 4 M5 square nuts, 5 millimeter glass fiber rod, and a hose fuse. The first thing you need to do is to remove the first six screws on your corner plate while keeping the last two in line. Then take the aluminum extrusion profile, align it with the hose, and you can start placing the screws. After that, you need to insert the M5 square nuts into the slots of the female threaded 60mm adapter, just like that. And you also can use the screwdriver to push them all the way in, just like that. And after that, you can assemble the adapter to the profile 
with the help of the 27 mm screws. You can insert the end caps. Then you need to insert the 5mm glass fiber rod in the hole at the top of the adapter all the way in. Place the hose fuse on the top of the rod and then insert the holes on the top of the rod and connect it with the top part of the hose adapter and tighten it with the hose clamp. 